Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel! So today I will be unboxing my first Louis Vuitton with you all. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello, hello! My name is Kirit. I make videos on makeup, shopping, hairstyle, tips and tricks, lifestyle, travel and many more. So if you like my videos, please do consider subscribing. So this is not going to be a blind unboxing guys because those who have been following me through my daily vlogs have already seen me using this bag numerous times since I've got this bag. But I have put it back into the box and I'm going to do the actual unboxing with you all. To be honest, I wanted to make the video for so long but I didn't get a chance because I went to India and before that I was super busy with my full-time job and I wanted to share with you all my experience, the unboxing experience again. So let's open this baby together! So I got this back as an anniversary present and it was really, really, really fun, guys. I still remember the day when we bought this bag. Oh my God, I can't believe like I was not at all prepared for it because this is like a big purchase and I wanted to be prepared and everything. And to be honest, I didn't even shower that day. <laughs> my husband was like, let's just go let's we just gonna go see if you like it we'll buy if not then it's okay let's just go and i was like no no no, i can't go to the louis vuitton store like you know with no makeup on but i literally went there i didn't take any shower no makeup nothing just like that and i got this freaking bag it still excites me every time i think about that day because it's just so special it's so special so i went in store in vancouver to purchase this bag and this client advisor was so 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 sweet she made my whole experience amazing to be honest she was the one like she made it so nice and super comfortable we had such a great laugh me and my husband were having like great conversations with her and I was like okay uh, I think I can buy the bag today <laughs> and my husband convinced me to buy the bag that day only if you are planning to purchase a Louis Vuitton from Metro Vancouver area I would highly recommend her because my experience of first time purchasing a Louis Vuitton was amazing because of her all right so yeah this is the box that it comes in I have tied the ribbon exactly again let's open it this big box let's take out the dust bag first and i'll show you the items that are in it the first thing is the receipt this is the louis vuitton receipt that i got and that's the card serena the client advisor hall to renfrew vancouver where i got the bag from and here's my receipt so yeah you gotta keep this forever with you and there's the small gift card you can write a note. I haven't written anything yet, but I will. If you're gifting it to somebody, you can just write down a note, sweet little note. So cute. And that's it. Let's come back to this baby. So it comes with this cotton dust bag, so you can uh, keep your bag in it when you're not using it. So it's really important to store your bag properly in the dust bag so that you can increase the longevity of your bag. Let's stick out the bag from the dust bag. Eee! Guys, this is the Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette Accessories Bag. Oh my God, guys, I love, 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 love this. Like since I've got this, it's been six months to be exact. Yeah, I've been doing this unboxing pretty late. Like I said, I was super, super occupied with all the other things. And anyway, so six months, I have a lot, a lot to say about this bag, to be honest. And I will be giving the whole review in this video as well. So I wanted my first luxury bag to be practical, which can go with a lot of outfits and which can fit my day-to-day -day things. Also, it should be functional for my lifestyle. And this one checked off all the boxes that I wanted in my first luxury handbag. You know, when you go to the Louis Vuitton store or if you go to the website, you're like, okay, which one I'm gonna buy for the first one, especially. The confusion is always when you are buying your first luxury handbag, you feel like, I think it's gonna be always, but still the first one is like really, really special. I knew that, okay, I wanted a Louis Vuitton for sure. And I also knew that, okay, the first one gonna be 
the monogram, the classic monogram canvas. So I would narrow down based on that. And from that, I went with this one. Let me show you what this bag looks like. So this is a multi-purpose bag guys to be honest like if I think about it like I should have got the other bag no not even single thought that comes in my mind that I shouldn't have purchased this because I have used this bag like multiple times and it's so versatile it's so easy to carry it fits so many things of mine I completely love this bag. This particular multi pochette bag comes with a lot of things that you can separate it out. I'll show you. The first one is the mini pochette. Let me take it out. Check this out. It has LV on it right here. There's LV on the zip. LV on the clasp. And this very nice sturdy gold chain, it's pretty sturdy. It has this LV logo on this Rochetta right here. Looking pretty dark now because I've been using this bag like so many times. And this Rochetta is non-treated. This Rochetta was super light in the beginning and over the period of time with the exposure of sunlight, humidity and moisture oils from your hands. So it tends to get darkened. But to be honest, I don't mind. It develops this very rich and unique patina. I'll show you on the other one. It's light here and it's dark this one because I've used the mini one a lot than the bigger one. And even the sides, you can see it's so light. This was the exact same color. So as you use it, the rochetta will turn dark. Let me show you the inside as well. So this one is pretty plain. It doesn't have like any leather or any other cloth. It's like strictly canvas, no lining inside. I wish there was like a nice lining inside. I still have this paper. <laughs> I keep this paper because it keeps the shape of the back pretty intact so yeah I don't mind I keep it in there just a small Louis Vuitton tag inside I don't know if you can see it yeah this was it no compartment in this one pretty plain simple bag so yeah this is the mini pochette the mini pouch and the second one is this one let me take it out this is a, like a medium sized pouch and you can just carry it like this when you go out and it fits quite a bit this one is bigger than the other one this is mini this is like a medium size and you can just carry it by its own or add the strap and in here the zip is nice smooth I've heard like people complain about the zip sometimes it's not that smooth but I don't have any complaints it's pretty smooth for me so inside it's this small compartment and authenticity card as well made in US of important material and components I really wanted my bag to be from Italy or made in France but yeah this one was made in US but that's fine whatever it is that was the medium one and then you get the strap so there's like two color options in this bag. Uh, there's a light pink as well, baby pink kind of, but I went with the dark olive green one because I felt like, okay, I can use this more often. And at the same time, it won't get dirty easily. So that's why I went for olive green. The strap is like adjustable, so you don't have to worry. Pretty sturdy strap, very nice. Louis Vuitton on the clasp as well. And it has Louis Vuitton imprinted all over the strap. So usually you can just attach the strap on this big bag, just style it like this, and you don't have to attach it, and you can just use by its own. And then there's this small, cute coin pouch. This is so cute, like super cute. Let me open this as well. It has this Louis Vuitton monogram print smaller print on this side a little bigger print on this side the inside is different in here than the other ones these guys have just like a cloth this one is still better So yeah, you can attach this coin to the strap again and then you can just attach this one and this is how the full bag looks like. The reason why I went for this particular one because, you know, it's so versatile. You can use this smaller one as a super dressy bag and use for your cocktail functions, weddings and the full sling bag is like super gorgeous with your casual outfits. I have worn this bag like in many different ways, guys. That's why I went for this bag. 
bag because you can style it up, style it down. It goes so well when it's put together with the casual outfit. And this small mini pochette goes so well with, with cocktail dresses, weddings. I have used this like so many times. I will put few pictures where I have styled this bag. If you want to purchase just this small little pochette, it's for $16.50 Canadian dollar if I'm right. So you can just get this small one as well to start with. But I bought the entire one because I felt like, okay, I'm gonna for sure use it. And for me, to be honest, if I can say if this bag was worth it or not, I can totally say yes because the number of times I have used it and I have never felt like, oh my God, this is so small because you can fit quite a bit in this like for example this coin who carry coins these days to be honest i personally don't carry coins or cash because i always like carry my debit card or like apple pay so for this one i fit my airpods in it see my airpods it's in the case it fits perfectly in this coin pouch so nice so i keep my airpods in it and this one i can keep my moisturizer my keys my sanitizer crunchy or whatever and in the small one you can also fit like a mobile phone and this is iphone 13 i will show you it will fit in this mini pouch as well with the case and i can keep my lip balm whatever like i need the necessary items on the go and it's just perfect i use this bag during traveling too it's a perfect sling bag and it looks so classy, so chic. I took it to my India trip and it was great, to be honest. And was simply just carrying this one bag. I reach out to this bag so many times. It goes with every outfit. I'm not kidding, guys. I will show you. Right now, I'm just wearing this simple quartet. And it will just make the entire outfit look so nice. Like, check it out. It instantly adds something to your plain outfit and looks so cute. And if I want to make it like dressy, take this mini one and wear it like this. So cute. Now it's all dressy. What do you think? So yeah, this was it. This was my first ever luxury handbag purchase and I'm so, so, so glad to get this one. Super, super useful bag. Let me tell you how much it costed me. Alrighty, check the receipt. So before taxes, the price of the bag was $32.50. After taxes, it costed me $3,640.17. I paid extra $0.15 cents just for this carry bag. I know it's expensive to be honest. There were other options like I was checking out Speedy. My husband was like, why don't you go with the Speedy one? Because he wasn't sure. He was like $3,600 almost for this small bag? Why? And then I told him like, I, ca I can just dress it up, dress it down. This one particularly, I I know I can use many, many, many times. I think it's a great first time purchase. I would highly recommend this bag. I also like the big tote bag from Louis Vuitton and I was thinking if I should get that one instead but that one to be honest I didn't get because I thought like okay I cannot take that to like you know parties, weddings, no it won't work out but this one I can for sure. Now I know not everyone is into luxury items but even I just love to shop from anywhere everywhere. I love buying from Zara, from Walmart, from Urban Behavior, from Sarojini, the recent shop video that I just did. If you haven't checked that out, do check it out. It's a super fun video. I will be doing a Sarojini haul as well soon on my channel. So stay tuned for that. This is it guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. And if you understand Hindi, you can also check out my vlogging channel where I make daily vlogs with my husband. And the channel name is Pianchu and Kiret. Bye now. See you in the next video.